Okay, we'll continue our study now by studying number seven, the uh, tabernacle in the desert. During the time of the Exodus, Moses was given plans by God to build a sanctuary in the desert so God could dwell among them. You know, the children of Israel had spent 490 years as slaves, and they needed to be to graphically see how the plan of salvation worked. So that's why God uh, laid out the sanctuary and uh, told them what to do. Now in the sanctuary there are two altars. The, number one is the altar of burnt offering, and number two is the altar of incense. Now later on I'll do a storyboard just on the various details of, of the sanctuary, but today we're going to just touch on it a little bit. So at the altar of burnt offering by faith, the sins of the individual persons and families were confessed uh, and were transferred to the innocent lamb, uh, uh, head of the lamb. So they actually had to place their hands on that lamb as they confessed their sins. And uh, then they, they, they uh, killed the lamb. So this service pointed to the coming Savior Jesus and his sacrifice for our sins. So this was just a, a type and an anti-type. This was a pointed forward to the sacrifice that Jesus was going to do for us. So let's take a look at a couple of the Bible texts that go along with this. We're going to turn to Leviticus chapter 1, uh, verses 1 to 9. And the Lord called unto Moses and, sp and spoke to him out of the tabernacle of the congregation, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say to them, If any man of you bring an offering unto the Lord, and he shall place his hand upon the head of the burnt offering, and it shall be accepted for him to make an atonement for him, and he shall kill the bullock before the Lord and the priests. So the sinner actually had to kill the animal. That's how terrible sin is in God's eyes. And then he shall put the animal on the fire upon the altar and lay the wood in the order upon the fire. And the priest shall burn all uh, on the altar to be a burnt sacrifice, an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. So this was generally how this procedure worked. They would come before the priest in the, in the uh, courtyard where the, uh, the, uh, the altar was. They would confess their sins by putting their hands on the animal. They would confess their sins and then they would slit the throat of the uh, animal. And w w after the animal died, they would burn the animal. There was more details to this in the Bible. But that is how their sins were transferred from themselves to the animal, and the animal represents Jesus. In Hebrews 9.22, we read, And almost all things are by the law purged with blood, and without the shedding of blood there is no remission for sin. So this is a key thing in the Bible. Blood is needed to re have remission for sin. There has to be a death. In uh, Hebrews 11.28, we read, Through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. So, this is how the earthly tabernacle worked. This is how our sins were transferred through the sanctuary service through faith. Because Jesus wasn't there. The Israelites had faith that the Savior that was to come was going to forgive their sins.